Amen. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. While you're standing. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. Hey, you may be seated. Amen. I'm going to preach on your anger. I'm going to preach on your anger. So we done praise God. We done got our praise out. We done got all our shouting out. We done got all our praise out now. I'm going to preach on anger. Temperance, amen, that's the word, right? So this is the last uh, sermon and a series of messages on the fruit of the Spirit. And we're going to conclude with the most um, difficult one of all of the fruits. And that is how to control ourselves. Amen. I, I know I'm not going to get a lot of amen, so we done shout out amen. So I'm going to just lecture for the next 15 minutes, and then we're going to get a benediction and go home. Amen. But this, this last of the nine manifestations of the fruit of the Spirit is but, uh, it is but, amen, the most difficult one for us to walk in. Because there are times, see, see, I'm, I'm just going to tell it like it is. There are times in our lives when we can be on our best behavior, mm -hmm. teach Pastor Fernando. Right. And then there are other times when we uh, can't stand our own self. self. Y'all ain't going to help me. I'm going to teach you anyway. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. At times we 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 uh, 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 you know we were the perfect example of self control, mm -hmm. and there are other times we act like uh, uh, a volcano. Y'all ain't. This is this this is real here today. <laughs> this is real here today. And so I want to talk just for a little just for a little while on. Amen. Self-control or temperance. Amen. Temperance. Uh, but it's really self-control. Amen. Now, 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 let's look at temperance defined. Temperance comes from, let me, let me teach a little bit, from the Greek word. It's two, really, it's two words combined. Amen. Uh, uh, two words combined. Uh, uh, and I should put it on the screen. Lord have mercy. And the first one is E-N. And the last one is Kratos. In Kratos. And the word in means in. And the word Kratos is, is, is the Greek word for power. So that means in power, amen. And so when you combine these two words, these, they literally means in control, amen, of yourself. You have to have the power to do what? Control yourself. Let me say it one more time. You have to have the what now? Power to can do what? Control yourself. You have to know how to restrain yourself. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look down at the rug, amen. I know the camera's on me, amen. But you have to know how to control your appetite. Mm. All right. <laughs> and your desires. Yes. And your passions. You have to. I'm not even going to tell you, say, tell your neighbor, no, uh-uh. You have to learn how to control. control. Say so. Temperance, anger. So let me just, I'm, I'm going to stay away from the other ones that I just named. But I'm going to deal with anger. Because I, I don't know if I'll get run out of here if I deal with them desires and passions. So I'm going to deal with anger. And then y'all going to swerve in the passions and and desires as I'm dealing with anger. But the Bible says this in Proverbs 14 and 29. Who, whoever is slow to anger has great understanding. But who has a hasty temper exalts 
foolishness. I'm sorry, folly. All right, all right. Same thing. You ever said some crazy stuff yeah. when you was angry yeah. that you wish you can take back, yeah. but you can't take it back because you already said it? And then you say, how foolish was I to say what I said? My I'm going to be right there all day. <laughs> because temper and anger is a universal human experience. Yeah. We can't deny it. Come on, somebody. Don't you get all high and holy looking at me today. Amen. You can't deny the fact that every now and then, yeah. everybody gets angry. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm? Yes. But 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 we express it differently. Amen. Right. We hope. Yeah. We hope. <laughs> because it's an intense reaction to life. Yes. You know when you when you're angry. Notice I'm staying away from the word mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say it anyway. <laughs> when you are angry, amen. You 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 are you are liable to do just about anything. And if you can't control it, you'll mess up something. Say it, say it. So it's important for us to understand our anger and realize what causes it and how to control it. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, somebody. You know what, you know what, you know, can I use this word? Uh, press your button. Oh, say it now, say it. Uh -huh. And how many know, amen, other people know what press your button. And when they know what presses your button, they're going to go for it every Come on, somebody. And then they get us, they have us like a Puppet Come on. on a train. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I can get, I can get an argument out of her right now. Watch how I tell her this. <laughs> this no, that's going to get you a good. And folks just love to do that to mess with you. Because they know you have no self control. Whoa, are you teaching? Now, just as meek. Amen. Can control our attitude. A person with a temper. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, has to uh, 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 has to control their actions. Come on. That's right. Person with temperance has power over their their their, their actions. Or or, or uh, you, you just don't mm. teach, Pastor Fernand. What I understand is that the Holy Ghost has to produce this this temperance in our life. Yeah. You can't even do it your own self. Come on, somebody. So I'm just getting you off the hook. Because so, you're thinking that it's about you. Come on. But it's the Holy Ghost that have to produce temperance in all of us. Aren't you glad it's, the, it's his job? Y'all ain't gonna, y'all miss that. Y'all miss that blessing. Y'all sure missed it. So if y'all got that, really, y'all will be shouting. I said it's not your job, but it's the Holy Spirit's job to produce temperance in us. So tell your neighbor, he's still working on me. <laughs> yeah, when, when you fly off on the handle, hey amen, just, just raise up and say, you know what? Oh, I'm so sorry I acted that way, but he's still working on me. Let me hear it, let me hear it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't know what you have in you <laughs> until it come out of you. I said you don't know what you have in you until it come out of you. And then you put your hand to your mouth and say, oop, I ain't even know I had all that in me. Temperance. Help us to maintain a life of moderation and control. Amen. Say it again, Pastor. Temperance helps us to maintain a life of moderation and control. 
Yeah. Look at what the Bible says in Proverbs. I'm trying to hurry. Proverbs 25 and 28. Contemporary English version. Losing self-control leaves you as helpless as a city without a wall. Listen now. Whenever you get to the place where you've lost control, you really have no defense. Teach pastor. There's a whole lot of folks sitting in the graveyard. Why? Because they've lost self-control at the wrong time before the wrong person. And that person that they lost self-control with took control of the situation. Teach, teach. There's a whole lot of folks who lost some real good paying jobs. Because a lack of self. <laughs> I know that boss got on your last nerve. They put one more, one, one too many assignment on your desk, and you about had it, and you lost control. That's it. That's it. Walked off that good paying. Paid you good benefits. All them vacation days, sick days. Walked off it. Mad. Not having self. Let me hear it because the benediction should be around the corner. Amen. I should. and came to Sunday the wrong time. I should. <laughs> Because I remember Friday, I just told my boss off. I got to go back up in there. <laughs> what I don't understand, amen, is a temperate person doesn't go on emotional tangents. Hmm? Temperate person has a sense of inner peace and security. No matter what is happening, amen, around them. <laughs> you, you, you just sober and you're going to use some, you're going to let the Holy Spirit to come in yes, and help you in that situation yes, hmm? yes. thank you Jesus <laughs> you know how some folks they overreact to everything deep yeah. just overreact to everything everything all you all <laughs> All you did was say good morning. Well, I don't even like how she said good morning to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you see how she looked at me, huh? Come on, come on, control that, control that. Control, get, get, get that, get, get, put that under control. I'm trying to lecture, I'm trying to hurry. Because see, sometimes, hey man, we lose control over some small stuff, hey amen. Then all you have to do is be calm about it. Right, right. At least she said good morning. Because <laughs> some folk will walk right by you. <laughs> you can't overreact to everything. Overwhelm, get nervous, insecure about everything. Get all up in your head. Self good. Okay, look at what the Bible says in Second Peter chapter number one, verse five and six. Yes. For this very reason, yeah. you must make every effort yeah. to support your faith yes, with goodness. Yes, sir. And goodness with what now? Knowledge. Knowledge. And knowledge with what now? See, you know better. <laughs> if you know this person is out to press your, why would you allow, amen, them to do, when they press, listen, you can't stop them from pressing the button. But you can control how you Respond yes. to when they. Okay, let me give you some Bible. 
No weapon. Yeah. <laughs> it's not on the screen. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Understand, the weapon is formed. Come on. Matter of fact, it will get in. It, the, the weapon will go into practice or go into action, but it, 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 it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to touch you. Yeah. Okay. Say it. Look at and, and self control. What, 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 what now? Endurance. See, that word there messes all of us up. Yeah. See, because, watch this. You have to, listen, listen. You have to stay there. Yeah. Come on. And swallow that thing. Yeah. Can't walk off of that good job. Mm -hmm. You have to endure some things. Yes. Teach, Pastor. Teach, I know I'm going to run after a while. <laughs> Temperance is the last fruit of the spirit. <laughs> but y'all, it's so, it's so challenging. Am I right about it? Yeah, wow. hmm? yeah because you have to stay there with that self-control and endure some stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's move to point number two because y'all saying, pass. I'm just checking my Facebook page right now. <laughs> Got it there. <laughs> So we, we looked at temperance uh, defined. Let's look at it demonstrated, uh, demanded. Let's look at te temperance demand. Demand. See, um, the God that, that saved us to serve him demands self-control of all of his saved and redeemed people. But we understand every now and then some of us throw what they call temper tantrum. Amen. But we call them spiritual temper tantrum, right? Well, and one of the most uh, prevalent spiritual temper tantrums that people uh, in the church can throw is to, is, is to do with whom God offers grace, mercy, and love to. I'm going to work this. Can I work it just a little? Can I work it? Uh-huh. We think it's great when God offers his grace to those individuals that we like and love. Come on, all right, all right. <laughs> the people that we care about. <laughs> and the ones we don't care about. Well. He said, God, you might as well leave them right there in their sin. Leave them in their situation. God, leave them alone. That's that, that, leave them alone. <laughs> but what I discovered is that the truth of the matter is God's grace and mercy and love is for everyone. Amen. That's right. Amen. It is God's grace and mercy and love, amen, uh, uh, that, 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 that brought us in and brought us through, brought us over. I want to show you in the, in, the, in the Bible real fast. I want to show you in the Bible. I'm going to give you an example of, of someone in the Bible who could not control his temper. All right, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you this. I would ask you to turn there, but I'm, I'm going to help you. Jonah chapter number one, verse number three. Right. Jonah. And, 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 and this, here's, the, let, me, let me give you the background right, real quick. Jonah is a prophet. He's a preacher. He's supposed to be out there preaching the gospel. Listen, saints of God. God called him to preach the gospel. And he says, go out and, and, and I need you to go and preach to those who are in some jacked up situation. I need you to go over there and preach to them. I need you to let them know I love them. And I want to save them. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right. This was Jonah's job. Yeah. Yeah. And that's your job too. Every redeem. Amen. You got the same job as Jonah. Right. Come on, y'all still with me? Yeah. Watch this. Look at what happened. Uh, God told Jonah, Jonah, I need you to go down into this, 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 this city. I need you to preach to some folks. They jacked up. They just messed up. That's right, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> but not only that, but these people who I'm asking you to preach to. They really are your enemies. My, 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 my. Yes. Boy, that's all right. Is that all right? Yes, it is all right. And so now he had to go to preach to his enemies in a city. And he was like, you know what? <laughs> Man, God, listen, <laughs> me and you, we all right. <laughs> yeah. We all right, but nah. 
Look at what the Bible says in Jonah chapter number one, verse number three. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Now, you know, this is the prophet. He knew God is ubiquitous. God is omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere at the same time. But he said in his mind, I'm about to get up and I'm about to flee from the present. When you, listen, when you don't have self-control, you, you think of some crazy stuff, don't you? Okay, 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 okay. And the Bible says he went down to Joppa and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare. Now, where God was sending him, he didn't have to pay anything. Okay, that's a servant. Uh, but the faith there. And went down into it to go with them unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. That's in chapter number one. He's so mad because he know the goodness of God. And he says, there's no way in the world I'm going to go to this city and do what God tells me to do. I can't control myself. I'm mad. I'm, not, I'm angry. Okay. Fast forward, chapter number two. Chapter number one, we see pouting, petulant Jonah. Yeah. Chapter number two, we see praying Jonah. That's all right. Because they took him and threw him off the boat. Get your uncontrollable self off of this boat. You don't need to hang out with us. Causing all this trouble to come in our life. And you got to be careful who you allow on your boat because they'll bring storms all up in your business. I mean, your, in your life. Yeah. All right. That's, that's a story for another day. <laughs> so then now, amen, in chapter number two, look, uh, look at Jonah. He's praying in the belly of the fish. Jonah chapter, chapter number two, verse number one. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord. Amen. His God out of the belly of the fish. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Deep. When we are angry, when we don't have self-control, we do some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teach Pastor Fernando that, that, that causes us, amen, to get on our knees Come on. Come on. to talk to God about where we at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, y'all looking at me like I don't even know what he's talking about. Have you ever prayed this prayer? Lord, if you get me out of this one, this time, man, I swear I ain't going to do it again. Y'all ain't even going, y'all ain't even going to pray with me. <laughs> huh? Y'all ain't even going to say amen. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. And then, God said, okay. Now, God knows what you're going to do. Because you're not fooling God. He know, you, he know what you're going to do. So, God said, okay. All right, I hear you. Let me get you out. So, God will get you out. And then, you will do what God tells you to do for a little while. <laughs> oh Lord, I can't come back to this church though. No. <laughs> you know me so well. Because watch this now. We gotta we gotta get out of chapter number two, because that's what he was doing his praying. Because then God delivered him. After he prayed, you know, I ain't gonna do it no more, God, I swear. Okay, I'll get you out. Then I'm going to do what God say do. Yeah. Chapter number three. We first saw pouting Jonah, then praying Jonah. Now I look at Jonah preaching in chapter number three. Mm -hmm. look, it's on the screen. Jonah chapter number three, verse number one. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah a second time, saying, Arise, go to, unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it, amen, the preaching that I bid thee, listen, it, it, he says Jonah, go on out there and preach yeah. and just do what I, told you. what I told you to do yeah. huh? Amen. and so the people believe God and proclaim a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them, so watch this now he, he, he decided amen, to do what God told him to do yes and guess what, y'all? A big success. The whole city got saved. The whole city got. Look at Jonah. 
Okay. When he relinquished his control yeah. and gave and then, amen, submit to God control, he see how God can come in and do a great work. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Mm. But then the story didn't end there, right. Rocky. Yeah, because right. we got to get to this self-control thing. Because yeah. he started out pouting yeah. in chapter number one. Yeah. Petulant, yeah. pouting in chapter number one. Uh -huh. Pray, two. chapter number two. Yes, sir. Okay. Preach, yes, chapter and chapter number three. Uh -huh. Guess what happened in chapter number four? Keep pouting again. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like us. What happened to the? If you get me out <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put on the screen so y'all don't take my word for it. Let's look at this. Let's, let's look at the screen. But this was chapter Jonah chapter four, verse one through four. It's a lot. I think. Oh, did I try to put it all on one slide? My God. But this was very displeasing to Jonah. What was displeasing? That the whole city got saved, and he became what? And that's how we, when we see God blessing somebody, yep. we get all angry, yes, sir. jealous, because God is opening up some doors for somebody else. And all we got to do is realize if God can do it for them, he can do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look what he did in chapter, uh, 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 verse number two says, he prayed to the Lord and said, now he's talking to God, y'all. Yes, sir. Oh Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled the Tarsus at the beginning. Huh? He said, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful and slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and ready to relent from punishing. Why don't you wish man would be like that? Yes. Yes. Aren't you glad we serve God and not man? Because if we serve, see man. Come on. Come on. Help us. That's all right, Doctor. That's all right. You mess up. <laughs> Teach Pastor Fernandez. You mess up, man. And we talk about, nah, you don't deserve God, grace and mercy. No love. Come on now. Come on. But look at God. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we got how what now? Self-control. Come on. Come on, somebody. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number three says, and now, O Lord. Look at Jonah. He's still, he's still talking to God. Yeah. Because God was good to somebody else. Look at what Jonah says in verse number three. I'm trying to hurry. And now, O Lord, please take my life from me. Do you think Jonah is overreacting just a little bit? <laughs> huh? Is it that bad that God decided to save somebody else? That God decided to bless someone? Is it that bad that, that you can't even celebrate? You can't even bless the Lord? Amen for blessing somebody. Is it that bad? No self. <laughs> he said, For it is better for me to die than to live. You know, I'm so glad God don't entertain every. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry y'all. Aren't you glad we serve a God who don't entertain I every whim? Say it, say it, say it. Imagine if God had said, yeah, you right, Jonah. Come on. Zap, you gone. <laughs> uh, Sometimes we go to God with some crazy jacked up requests. God be like, really, man, come on. You, you, you can't be serious. All right. <laughs> and so look how God is so grace. He's so gracious and he's so merciful. And he's so patient and so kind and so loving. And he said to Jonah in the mildest way possible. And the Lord said, 
Is it right for you to be angry? Say it, doctor. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Boy, that's a word. That's a word. Y'all, we be, we get all angry. <laughs> that's a word. And so God wants to know, is it, is it okay for you to be all angry? My, my. With fill in the blank. All right. Wow. All right. Fast. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. I can't finish point number three. Because, see, what God is trying to do is to get us to see the situation from his perspective. Amen. And sometimes we let our anger cloud our vision of how God wants us to see the situation or the individual or the circumstance. Are y'all still with me? <clears throat> My God. All right, musicians, I, that's it. I can't, I can't go no further. I mean, because I know, I know, my, I know my, my time is far spent. Listen, it's all right with y'all. Amen. Is that all right? Okay, okay. All right. Is it all right? It's all right. All right, all right. All right. See, because what I understand, thanks to God, it ain't about you calling somebody. It's not about us calling someone. Yes, 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 yes. It's not about us approving of someone. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let me cut across the yard because Romans chapter 8 at verse number 30. Romans chapter 8, verse number 30. And having chosen them. Hmm? And having chosen them. Huh? I'm trying to get off of this first amen clause. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with with y'all not with himself Amen. Hmm? Amen. and having given them right standing he gave them his glory yes, sir. Yes, sir. see I, I can read the King James Version whom he did call yeah. <laughs> he, he predestinated yeah. All right. And God is the one, watch this, who called us. Yeah. All right. God is the one, watch this, who's chosen us. Yeah. God chose that one that you feel like he really should not have chosen. Right. Don't get all angry. Okay, I'm moving. Let me close. Uh, I can't go with it. I can't, I can't do it all. But we saw temperance defined, temperance demanded, but temperance demonstrated. Yes, yes. Finally in Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah. Because right. hmm? mm -hmm. look at Jesus. When, when he was falsely yeah. accused. Yes, well, yeah. uh, the Bible said he, 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 he never, he, he, he never, uh, Responded when he was brought before the Sanhedrin council, and 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 they and they and they and they they they, they brought up some false charges against our Lord. Yeah. He had self-control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and look again, amen, when he sat, amen, before Herod, amen, that wicked man, and yet he had self-control. He, 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 he was interrogated by Herod, and yet, amen, he had self-control. Control the scribes and the high priests, they were all lying on him, and yet he had self control. Can you, amen, keep your mouth closed when folks are lying on you and you know they lying and they know they lying? Can you, amen, have self control? But then, amen, he went before Pilate and he still had some more self control control. Then he was, amen, on his way to Calvary, amen, and they was mocking him. They was, amen, spitting on him. They slapped him, amen, hallelujah, and he still had self control. Here he is, amen, as he's on that cross, they're nailing him to that rugged cross, putting nails in his hand, in his feet, and he had self 
control. He is, amen, on that cross, amen, hallelujah, while they're mocking him, telling him to come on down, but he's had self-control. Self yes, he did. And then, hallelujah, when the thief was right next to him. He says, man, listen, ha, don't you worry about it. You're going to have a place in my kingdom. Right. Self. Yes. That's yes. it. That's it. That's it. Yes. And the same Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that was on that rugged cross. Yes. Who had all that? Yeah. Self. Yes. Control. Yes. The Bible said he had enough control, too, to get up. Mm. On the third day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Self-control. Yes. Thanks to God as we close this series. And I, and I had to hasten to a close. Yes, this is the most challenging of the fruit of the Spirit. Yes, yes. But the God that we serve will yes. never ask you yes. to do anything that he has not equipped you to do. Amen. 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 I start out by letting you know it is the Spirit of God that's on the inside of you that helps you. Let Him work in your life. Let Him work with all of the fruits of the Spirit. Let Him work in your life. Let him work love in your life. Let him, amen, work joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith in your life. Yes. As we stand on our feet, amen, the doors of the church are open. The love of God never fails and the redemptive work of God continues. God loves you and his desire is to have a relationship with you. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and that's Jesus Christ, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you desire a relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ, you can have it. If you're in the Oviedo area, if you're in the Orlando area, please come and worship and praise God with us in the sanctuary. Uh, we would love to have you here worshiping God with us together. Our worship service starts at Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And I would also ask that you please help support this ministry. Help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, by giving us your best generous offering. You can give online or you can mail your offering in. Please, we ask that you partner with us as we share the glorious gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Amen.